Due to the ignorance of our host, parental discretion is advised. You know what these drums remind me of? Are we starting? Sure. Have you ever been to Lagoon lately and rode that cannibal? No. When's the last time you got in the Lagoon? I was probably married with kids. Really? We went. I thought it's like it's like ten years ago. I was married two years ago. <laughs> but a lot longer than that. We went like two last weekend. Like last Friday, I think, really? for the Halloween to check out a lot oh, yeah, yeah. and shit. We always get season passes, but as you go in that ride, there's always you get in the ride and it takes you up that elevator and it's fucking like jungle fucking like those the corn where they're getting oh, ready yeah. to fucking sacrifice somebody. And you're like, you start jacking up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it don't they have a new ride? So it just open. You have yeah. to make reservations, which we made reservations to ride because we're season pass holders. You have to make reservations, and they open the park through the week for people to ride the ride, but the park's not open through the week. Mm-hmm. And ours is like, I swear to God, it's like on a fucking Tuesday night or some shit like that. Really? To go ride it, but I hear it's like an interactive ride. It's not really one that, because I get excited over like cool roller coasters, but this one's like... <clears throat> Interactive, you go through fucking this thing, you have a gun and shit. Okay. It's not, I don't think it's as cool. <laughs> I think I'll be disappointed. So, what does that mean? You have a, you have a reservation. Do you have, you don't have to do, you don't have to stay in line or not? Yeah, you just go to your time and then when your time's there, then you'll go on the ride. But they only let, they're only letting uh, season pass holders ride it this year because it opened way later than it was supposed to. If I think about it, when I was in the apprenticeship class back in the day, the old days, right? Um, there was a kid in there that worked for that company that was building it. I'm talking four years ago. Like they've been building that fucker forever. Damn. I think COVID. Well, yeah, that'll demonetize us. But yeah. that's what slowed it down. I think. Yeah. I didn't picture you for a. Oh, I love roller, roller coaster coasters. Horse. I roll <clears throat> Problem is, now that I'm getting older, I start to get sick. I used to never get sick on them. See, I will say the last time that I did it, it was uh, when I went to, I worked for this company, and they took us to Virginia to work in a church, in an LDS church. And so we drove to Washington, D.C., and on the way, there was a, there was a was park. Six Flags? There was a park called... Empire Adventure or oh, something like that. <clears throat> Never heard of that. And it was just the three of us, my boss, another, another guy, I mean, and, and we went on everything. Most of it because I've done it like I did it back home. But um, that boss is like one of those guys that's like, well, I'm going to have to do it. Otherwise, he won't, he won't stop. <clears throat> yeah. Like When we went to Lake Powell, he stopped at one of those cliffs to dive, and I was like, well, I have to, I have oh, to jump. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. he's not gonna leave me alone. So it was one of those. But, um, and I went on every single one of them until I was like, I'm done. I was like, I'm fucking done. Sick. Yeah. <clears throat> Started getting like the the dizziness, like the headache. So yeah. And you just go like, this is too much. And then the music, the lights, kids. <laughs> That's what did it. Huh? <clears throat> just kids in here. But I, I'm surprised that you fun. you. Uh, you're riding those things. You just, well, you're, you're, you're. I'm issue fearless. Does, issue doesn't affect you mm-hmm. on those? No, and, and it's not during the ride that makes me, it's the after the fact. I think that I get dizzy now and I, I have to sit down for a minute now, <laughs> my old age. But you gotta, you gotta think like, well, I've, I've said the mili- this, this story a million times. Like as a kid, we rode our dirt bike to Lagoon. Yeah. We would go every fucking day and I would rode, I ride everything. From the time I was a little kid, yeah, I mean, we've been on everything there. I love that shit. I'm an adrenaline junkie, right? But now it just it's caught up to me. But my kids love it, and I love going with them because now that they're big enough, they can go on the bigger rides. Oh, that's right. And Even the little one scary big for them. Yeah, she's now big enough to ride anything. Oh, there. nice. So we get her some big fucking tall shoes, so she's tall enough. <laughs> <laughs> we do that, and I'm like. You think this is safe? Like, there's probably that scale for yeah, a reason. For a reason. 
But fuck it. So far, so good. Right? <laughs> haven't fallen out yet. <laughs> Have you done that slingshot thing? They won the. Not that one, but I've done the one where they pull your Probably. ass way up. I've done that one back in when I was a teenager. I haven't done it since then. I don't know if I could do that now. See, like, even that to me is like. I will say, though. You don't like that free fall fucking feeling, though, do you? Free, free falling. Uh, speaking of places. Oh, it's hot as fuck in here, oh, dude. You want me to turn that on? Turn that fan on. Holy I fuck. went to Vegas. <clears throat> oh, now it's not going to work. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's working. I went to Vegas for a concert. Vegas is dirty as fuck, dude. I've said this, that <clears throat> you can only do so many days in Vegas. Like three days max for me. And yeah, I'm Vegas see, I did, I did two and I was like. Yeah. Be right. It's. The stri- and, and uh, you know, like I was talking to, to to our boy to our boy G, and he was like, and I told him, I said, "Dude, this this place is dirty." And he was like, "Well, it's always been dirty," but I don't remember it like that. Nowadays, you walk on the strip, and there's nothing but hobos juggling some balls or whatever, and like there's people like like almost no clothes on. Yeah, it's like there's like there's crackets. Like I mean, oh, yeah. I was just walking. I'm like. My, do I still have my wallet? Yeah, yeah, it's not a place to take your kids anymore. I Fuck think, no. Right? Nah. Circus Circus <clears throat> is going bankrupt. Dude. <laughs> There's no kids going in there anymore. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been in there. Circus Circus? No. God I was like no. the, the first it's time. always fucking spooky looking. The first time that we went, we, we were taken there by my mom's husband in 2000. That's where we stay. But back then he was like, holy shit. Like, you, you know, you... Like a delay person, you just like stop by and you see the lights, <laughs> and then you keep on to the next one. You stop and you see the show, you know. And but you should na- have done drugs when you're nowadays. That would make maybe make it funner. Probably they're, <laughs> they're having they fun were down offered there. to me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, but no, and then all of a sudden, I started having a Justin motherfucking Simmons moment because I was like, "Well, I don't want to touch any oh, door now. No, no, you don't touch nothing down there." And, Pro tip, always take fucking hand sanitizer with you. <clears throat> I'll do it so much that my hands will dry out start to where cracking. they start to fucking hurt. <clears throat> but you're right. You don't touch nothing down there. Dude, I, I swear I was like, because every t- uh, when you go into a, a hotel and you come out, right, you have to open doors and stuff. And I was doing this. And as I'm walking to it, first of all, it's brass. You see every single person's fingerprints. And then it just happened that I will open a door and I'm like, now I got to go to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. And I felt so grossed out. <clears throat> I was like, oh, it all makes sense now. Yeah, I use my back to open doors as much as possible. Some of the ones you have to pull open to get in. Yeah. Sometimes I'll wait for somebody to come out. I'll put my foot in there. I, w- I would do the automatic one, the one yeah. that opens both. But then I always use my back if I'm going out and I'll yeah. use my back to get out. I don't touch it. <laughs> I, I Did you walked, get it though? I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I walked uh, I walked a strip for a second just to just to go buy some stuff, and I was like, "This is absolutely disgusting." Did you go to the strip, or did you go to like Fremont Street, the old one? No, we just we just went to the strip. Fremont's always cool because it's the old Vegas, which I enjoy. Yeah, I've been there uh, with my ex. They, they have that those little things that you. Fly to the whole yeah, fuck that. I know the one. I know the one. She did it. I was like, I'll be down there. Oh, you didn't do it. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you want to go? I'm like, no. No, there ought to be people barf on that thing. <sighs> and you know, it's coming down right on the people that aren't paying attention to that. Everything's shit. so fucking expensive, dude. Oh yeah, everything. Oh, yeah. Everything. I sat at the bar, swiped the card for a couple times. One of them, I smoke a stogie cigar. And I was like, oh, shit. How long have I been here? Mm-hmm. I had two beers. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's definitely not cheap. It's definitely the biggest, the world's biggest tourist trap, in my opinion. Yeah, but there's so, many, there's so much new stuff. You see that dome they built? 
No, but I would like to see it. Is it pretty cool? I saw I saw it from far away and doing the day, which, oh, which was kind of it's kind of yeah. But but it's not on the strip. It's kind of a little farther back, I think. But driving in, I was like, oh, there's that one thing. But did you see the Raiders Stadium? Yeah, it's pretty cool looking. That's just it? right there too. Yeah, it's, it's pretty like cool. At the looking. Interest, yeah. That was pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. The, the fucking shiny. Niners pl- are playing right now. God damn oh, it. are they? Yeah. Playing the Giants. Fuck, dude. Yo, dude, they're, they're number one. They opened up right good. Now, right now, number one fucking in the powerhouse fucking ratings. Yeah. What about my boy, huh? Mm. That's what he gets. That's what he gets. You're right. He should have stuck it out. Yep. Should have stayed loyal. And But how... How, I mean, hey, how ironic you know is Steve Young, right? How I, no, no, no. How, how, I, <laughs> how ironic is this? He, but, he he goes to this he goes to the Jets. He hurts himself. Not only the person to stay behind at the Packers wins, but the kid that took over for him on the Jets <clears throat> wins. Both BYUers, right? Yep, both BYUers. Yeah. <clears throat> Shout out to the mom. Oh, the, oh fucking your boys got to get with God. Yeah, apparently yeah. God's following him around. He ain't paying attention. You see right? that? The, the memes were brutal, oh, dude. Yeah. There was a, uh, you know how they do that that little, when you go to the doctor and on, on the field they open that thing. It's like a like a like a tent. Oh yeah. It yeah, opens yeah. up, and someone took a photo of that, and it goes, "This is the second darkness retreatment Aaron Rodgers has been in." <laughs> The internet never fucking no, loses, dude. It's dude. Fucking killer, dude. <laughs> it's it was so fucking awesome. Do <clears throat> you think that's it? That's um, a tough one to come back from. Man. But I, I, I think he would play another one just, just to not to leave like that. But I don't think. Where do you put him? In the top. If you were to say top five, mm. where would you put him? We all know who number one is. Unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, I mean, probably five. I get like. He he made it by the skin of his teeth, right? <clears throat> Number one's Joe Montana, though, right? Oh, I thought you were gonna say Brady. Excuse me. <laughs> well, I don't. Oh, you yeah. probably like LeBron James too, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you gotta understand. Like, I only like football a few years back. Statistically, yeah, you're right. Yeah, <clears throat> Joe Montana. What, but where 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 do we go? Top five, Brady. Montana. Yeah. Manning's got to be there, right? I wouldn't put him with number three, though. You're talking to a Niner guy, so you know I'm going to put Steve Young in there. <laughs> uh, who was? Uh, well, didn't. Uh, what's his bitch's name? Uh, Rotlinsburg? Did he? Mm, he won. Did he win like yeah three or four? He's probably on the higher end. Rings? I would put I would put Aaron Rodgers above Ben Roethlisberger. Yeah, I would say he's four and five. But then, if I guess if you go way back, we're talking fucking, I mean Joe Namath. Yeah. And, you know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Uh, I I was watching the Mo- Monday Night Football. I was gonna say Monday Night Raw. Shout out to those kids, friend of ours. Oh yeah, I saw that video. Yeah, yeah. and uh, shout out to those guys. Um, and they only get so. They used to they used to record two games, same game, <clears throat> two channels. Mm. One with the fucking Mannings, yeah. the other one with the whoever it is on Monday, mm-hmm. Joe Buck or whatever. Yo, would you say Troy Aikman goes in there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Troy Aikman. Yeah. So I guess you'd have to almost go top ten, right? Yeah. But after that, yeah. Eli? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. Do you say Dan Marino? Do you say oh. John Elway? Hey. I mean, you could be reaching back there, right? But again, we're not. It's funny how we're looking back there, not here. Isn't yeah. that weird? Yeah, yeah, I almost feel like quarterbacks are like uh, you get a you get a a decent quarterback for two or three seasons. Yeah, yeah. But the guys that go six, seven, eight seasons, like that's very rare. Yeah. Right? 
Hellbach probably just got a boner when you say Troy Aikman. Though. I got to put him in there. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that was, I mean, I, that was the heyday when I really got into the Niners as a kid. I was like, that was the team. Are we rival? Yeah. We always fucking played against the fucking Cowboys, right? You were here in Utah. You were either a fucking Denver fan, a Cowboys fan, or a Ruben, Niners fan. Yeah. Are we who, gonna, the, are we, who the fuck is a Denver fucking Broncos fan? <laughs> My mom's husband. <laughs> uh, oh, our boy George. He's a fucking... He's a Bronco. Oh, that's right. That's right. He has a tattoo of a Bronco. Oh, he does, does so, right? He? Well, he has a tattoo of another man on his yeah, yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think, he, I think he has a Bronco. Beautiful tattoo. tattoo, by the way. Yeah. yeah he showed it to me, and I'm like, who's that? And he goes, really, dude? I was like... I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> what does Not it that it's a bad tattoo or anything. No, I was, was going to say, so what did you say? Like, well, it looks like, <laughs> never mind. I was like, well. <laughs> <laughs> you know where I was going with this. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, like, Colby. He's like, what? <laughs> yo, yo, I was way into fucking Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as well, my friend. <laughs> oh, no, dude, I'm sorry. It was a Kim one. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> um, Yo, I watched that air documentary. Oh yeah, yeah. What do you think? I'd not documentary, but Movie. that show about uh, the the Jordan ones. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and there was a glimpse where I got so fucking motivated. I was like, "Yo, the way he sold that, like that speech, like I want to know if that's real. Mm-hmm. Like if that speech was real, and if he got it just right out of the fucking blue." Um, I was like. Yo, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna use this in my professional career. I'm gonna write this down. I'm gonna do this. And then by the time I woke up the next morning, I'm like, nah, <laughs> nah that's Hollywood. I'm good. <clears throat> but I was, I was disappointed that at least show Michael Jordan. Yeah, that's right. Right. He's like, always like <clears throat> the back of him. I'm like, because yeah. the the actress that played his mom and his dad looked just looking like him. Yeah. Like they did a good job of picking those people out. Yo, by the way, dad, he knew his place, huh? He was like, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's lucky. I'm, mom's a fucking, fucking monster, right? Yeah. But I guess you think about what a smart move to say, oh, okay. Yeah. We're down, but we want a piece of the pie. And I want, makes me wonder if they knew how big it was going to get. Well, they, they made it in the movie. She, they made it look like she knew exactly where this was going. It was a good show. Yeah. How can you not like fucking Ben Affleck and fucking Matt Damon? Like everything they're in together yeah. is always fucking golden. Yeah. And I don't necessarily like them as actors, but when they're in something together, it's always fucking killer. I also like the <laughs> idea of, and this is in the movie, so don't shoot me. Yeah. Spoiler alert. The idea of like, Having Chris Tucker be like, "Hey, you talk to them," because <clears throat> so there's not just white people trying to right. convince them to do this thing. Right. Right? <laughs> but it was funny how uh, he's like, "When you go to to this brand, this is exactly how it's gonna go." And then the lady was like, exactly "But I wonder if that's real. Like, I wonder how much of that shit was real." Yeah, in the movie. <clears throat> the the guy that that created it. I mean, at the end of the day, they sold it. But the guy that uh, that designed the shoe. I mean. That's the madman behind the whole fucking thing. Because if it would have been an ugly shoe, everybody's like, mm, I get it, yeah. right? <clears throat> the fact that they paid the fines. How fucking great is that? Yeah. And they did it. They absolutely did And the boss did didn't it. know until the day of the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, a good, it was a good show, though. Yeah, I watched it twice. I, mean, I, I went and saw it, and then my little brother wanted to see it, and I had to pretend I hadn't, I hadn't watched it. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, yeah, what? <laughs> But um, did you wear a pair of Jordans to it? Yeah, well, obviously, but not the ones. <clears throat> so I didn't have them back then. But what's a, a what's an original pair of ones worth? Original from the eighties? Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, you're talking about <clears throat> five seven Gs? Because I get like the lost and founds, like mm-hmm. they're, they're mocked off to to make it look like they're an OG one. Like I get that, but an original pair. Yeah, it was like five G's, seven G's. And he said they were not the most comfortable shoes. Mm-hmm. The OG one Kenobi's. <clears throat> I don't know. There's some cool ones coming out, though. Dude, I haven't bought shoes in so long. Oh, I went and ended up buying shoes in Vegas. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, you were in <laughs> Vegas buying some <laughs> shoes, like, right? 
stupid was <clears throat> I Jesus coming? Christ, How man. How stupid was I coming? Well, I got so high. Just kidding. No, but I went and I was like, oh, let's see. And those are the shoes that I went for on sneakers and I didn't get. Did you go to like a Nike outlet down there? Mm-hmm. So I, I texted you and I texted Brian. And so I texted you. If you say yes, I'll buy this fuckers right now. And to Brian, I just I just sent him like a little emoji of like, hmm, like should I get him or not? And Brian, <laughs> Brian got, I forgot Brian got him. Oh, he and did? And he's like, yeah, he's like, those are good, man. You should get him. I have him. And I was like, oh, okay. And I got it, and I was like, I was going to wear them. They would go put, good with this outfit, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I was going to wear them, but I didn't put them together. So I was like, oh, mm. I'll do that this weekend, mm. I guess. So how was the concert? The concert was good, dude. How many times have you seen them? Counting 1996, back home. One, two, three, four, five, six. This will be my sixth one, I think. Many times I've seen the Deftones, huh? Yeah. Yes, I've seen the Deftones six times. Yeah, but they come to you. They'll have to travel. This motherfuckers don't come here. Wow. <laughs> True. True. So. I've seen him in Vegas. Like Any two. white people in the crowd? Now that you mention it, uh, there was a family behind us. I love. <laughs> Did they get free fucking tickets from circus? No, no, no. Well, <laughs> they got cop <laughs> tickets. Circus. No, there was a, there was a, fi- there was a. Well, sorry, there, there was carrot f- tops all sold out. <laughs> we got these. <laughs> there was a family behind us, all Browns, talking Spanish, and then the one white guy, me, huh? The, the one, the one Simmons yep. with the mustache, the, and I was looking at him like, that's definitely. One that got married into it, right? Oh, and, and now he's there. And then the band started. And the whole the and, whole and family then, hates him except the for the band, wife, right? And then the band started. The band started talking about, uh, you know, like unity and all these, you know, all that stuff. They like, they only speak in Spanish. Like, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, the singer was trying to speak uh, English, and they were lazy. Shut the fuck up. Um, but the drummer's bilingual. Yeah. Uh, he was born in Florida, but uh, he. He was like asking questions today. He he started talking about, you know, I it, he kind of said something like, "I've noticed some Americans here." He said he said gringos, right? Cause that's, that's he did. What, that's what we do. Yeah, that's what we that's what we say. Uh, and I've noticed some Americans here and this and that. And and then and then all of a sudden behind me, I hear, "Hey!" And then I look, and they were all pushing him like, "You're the one. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're one of the ten people." Out here. <laughs> and he's just like, well, like he's loving it. He's oh, like, yeah, yeah I me. Mean. <laughs> But no, these guys, for being 60-something years old, at least a singer, they still put a good show, man. They still, the, the music is f- fucking amazing. Uh, the drummer, obviously, insane. Does his solo. Yeah, I was going to ask you, did he do a solo? Do, does his solo. and then, but Although, uh, getting a little pudgy on me. I was oh, like, I was like oh, he just... Huh? Uh, Oh, he's letting it go. I huh? letting yeah, it go. It's okay. Uh, Let me get that old, right? <laughs> and uh, these, the pictures I've seen, he's a fucking ripped dude. Yeah, he's not fucking no more, dude. Not no more. Oh, okay, that's that the, touring the life. The drums huh? are is fucking beautiful, dude. I showed Pearl? it to you, didn't you? It's a uh, uh, DW. DW. DW Pisces. Um, it's like, Pisces, uh, not pasties. Pisces, Pisces. Um, yeah, not, and, not and a the, Zildjian his, guy, huh? And his, no, and it looks, the drums just fucking looks amazing. And then they do this part when they play the song, right? The lights come back on. It's just the drummer <clears throat> and he's doing his solo. And me, for being a, a veteran on this band, I'm like, oh, now they're going to, because there's a stage behind us. And I was like, oh, they're going to come here. So the drummer's doing his thing, you know, this thing goes up and down and starts spinning, whatever. And then he's done and throws, throws his drumsticks away. And then everybody's like this, the light comes out, and I'm the only moron that turns around. It's like, they're going to be over here. So they come out. They get the whole band in there. And then they start bringing women into the little stage. They, they sing like a couple slow songs. Uh, the singer says to this lady, Oh, I like your, there was a lady that had a sign. He says, I like your sign. And he was like, I want to bring that lady over here. And she had a sign that said, hey, fair, which is the guy's name. He says, I'm, I want to have your baby. I'm a widow. Oh. It's not, I'm, I am not but, no but, but she wrote it as a, as a, I'm a little, I'm a little widow or something like that. Like kind of flirty. 
And so they brought it on stage, and uh, and they sing a song, <laughs> they sing a song for her, and you know they sing does this thing is like you know when when we lost somebody you know we don't we don't uh, or when we lose somebody we don't need to remember you know that the the that they're not here with us that we can't talk to them anymore we gotta remember like, how the times that we laugh or the times that we have fun and, and this right and she says to, and she's like yeah but she's holding her sign right <laughs> and she goes yeah 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 <clears throat> he goes okay so but don't worry about it he says you're young it doesn't matter how old you feel you're young and she's you can see her face started going like. Mm, this is not where I thought it, this was going to go, right? He goes, but don't worry about it. So you're going to find someone, and he's going to make you happy. And, he, and she's like, I'm okay. Like, she, they gave it the microphone. He goes, he goes, she goes, I'm okay. I'm good. And, and then the singer goes, are you telling me? This, <laughs> this is what I was like, yo, cut his fucking mic. He's like, are you telling me you don't want a man to make you feel like a woman again? And he can make you feel like when he starts. I mean, the guy started giving like details, like when he starts kissing and like oh, sticking the tongue no. in, your, in your mouth and this and that. And everybody's like laughing, and the lady's just looking. And then the lady finally goes, "Barrister." And then the lady goes, "I just lost my husband to the pandemic." And the singer goes, <clears throat> "Thank you so much for coming." Uh, next song, <laughs> I was laughing so hard. I'm like, God you damn! Get out of it? God damn! How old was she? She was probably in her, in her late fifties, sixties, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Don't you want a man that will make you feel like a woman again? And just hold you in your arm, in his arms and just touch you." Well, in she places. asked for it. She touched you in places, and <clears throat> she's like, "I'm good." So uh, <laughs> the, the river's dry, my friend. <laughs> He's like, "Dude, I just lost my husband to the pandemic." Yeah, <laughs> God damn! But it, overall, it was good. It's a good show. It was packed as a Dude, there was people behind the stage. That's how packed this thing was. Mm, well, that arena is pretty big. Yeah, bigger than the uh, the Delta Center. It's twenty thousand, I think. Right? We looked it yeah. up. How much? How long, How many is the Delta? I don't know. I don't know. The Delta seventeen, like, eighteen thousand, maybe. I thought it was like twenty two. Maybe it is. I don't know. Why don't we ask that one guy that was it, on it, here? It's bigger than the. It's bigger than the GMG, uh, MGM. Oh yeah. The gym, gym. yeah. <laughs> Again, the UFC helped I mean, mm. basically fund that motherfucker. It says right there, house of the UFC. <laughs> yeah. It's got the letters and shit. Yeah. As you go in, there's like the the red letters are on the on the balconies. It's a good it's a good spot. Yeah, I'd like to go there. There's Again. Some, there's some good fights. Again. There. Two beers and a bucket of popcorn. Fifty three dollars. Mm. I was like, God damn. Did you pregame? I pregame him a little, yeah, before 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 I went. Did you drive to the event no, or I did walked. you just you I, walked, I walked, right? That's the reason why I, I stayed, in, stayed, where you in, stayed in such a shitty spot. Because <laughs> I just walked to just it. Just wanted to know smart. Smart. I just walked to it and then I, it was ten minutes there, ten minutes back. Mm. I stayed at the Excalibur. <laughs> <clears throat> did you go have the fucking and now I got herpes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go watch the fucking the show at the Excalibur? For the dinner? Obviously not. Which one's that one? They had the fucking horses and the jousting and the fucking people, the sword oh, fighting no, shit. No. Do they do that still? I don't think so. I didn't see it. <clears throat> well, there was a, there was a, there's posters of it, but I thought it was like an arena that you go to. Is that yeah, in the front? It's in there. Oh. It's in that place. Well, we went and see, we went and saw the Jabberwockies. Oh, I saw you had a post about that. A little disappointed. Why? Maybe it was just the video you took, but I was like... It's a great show. Yeah, but I was... I I only saw the small clip. I was like, well, I expected a little bit more. Like, some of those guys were offbeat. Uh, They they do this thing where they go from everywhere from the 50s all the way to nowadays music. Oh, and okay. they, they dress up like it and they do this whole thing and then they, they do a part when they interact with the people and then make them do karaoke. And then there's one guy that they gave him the microphone and he starts singing and then like he kinda like starts uh running around from in the place. It was like it's they made it seem like it's an audience member, but I was like, Oh, that's one of them. Oh. He just changes, right? Oh. And it's a regular guy and he's singing and he goes on stage and he's singing and everybody's like freaks out, but I'm like, Oh, that's one of those guys. Oh, Again. Okay. Go buy a couple beers, bucket of popcorn. Fifty three dollars. Fifty three dollars. Mm. 
Plus two hundred dollars in tickets. <clears throat> two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Yeah, and it's crazy because it's 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 on a it's it's on a you <laughs> you, you go to a store, Damn. you go to a store where all the the Jabawaki shit is, like mask and hoodies and and shirts and all that stuff, and then you buy your tickets there, and then all of a sudden at, at whatever time you go back to the store and then they open these doors inside of the store and it's like another fucking huge room. Oh. And it's got a bar in the back, and but it was a great. It was. A, it was. I mean, it was actually a lot better than I thought. And Brian, I've seen him twice, and he's like, "Dude, you gotta go see him." It was worth it, though, huh? It was worth it. We got there. Nice. I, 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 <clears throat> I was like, "Oh, this is where they. This is where they are." Because if if I if if they would have been somewhere else, I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck it." Hmm. But they were just right there. And I'm like, "Oh, let's just let's just see what's going on here." Hmm. And uh, how much were your tickets to the uh, the concert, the Mana concert? They were about. About seven. Well, that's not bad. I was in row Q, like seventeen down. That's not bad. That's not bad. Hmm. That's not bad. Can't but, put a price on fun, my friend. Again, I not said in, that. Not in something you like. I mean, that's been my band since I was a kid. Right, yeah. I was thirteen, fourteen, or so. Just I started. I mean, I started playing drums, and that was like the, that was my focus. That was just that guy, and I was like, "Holy shit!" And then all of a sudden, I grew up, and then I got a picture with him. I got one of his drumsticks. I got. Oh, you do have one of his drumsticks? Like a long time ago, <clears throat> he, he threw it, and I caught it. What the fuck? From really? his hand, yeah, from his hand to my hand. And, I uh, I had a uh, chance for a drumstick one time, and uh, not the KFC kind. <laughs> But uh, I had a chance for a drumstick from uh, from one of my favorite bands, uh, Seven Dust. Mm. Uh, Morgan Rose fucking threw the drumstick out. And I was like, oh, it's right here. Well, the motherfucker that I went with is seven feet fucking tall. He just went right over my fucking head. <laughs> took it. He's like, well, thanks, Mike. Bitch, I drove. <laughs> no, he drove, actually. You know what? I, there, there's a story behind that. So he drove. That's where I got this. Oh, that damn. big gash at that show, got right? Stabbed. I got kicked in the throat. So I was like, well, I deserve that, right? <laughs> right? And that's what's white privilege talking right there. <laughs> but he was white too, so. <clears throat> I get kicked in the throat. <clears throat> I get all bandaged up at the fucking show. On the way home, this was uh, 1997. One of the first big ass shows. Remember the X96 big ass shows? Mm hmm. Corn, yeah, Seven Dust. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, there's quite a few bands. Beck was there. Uh, a band I used to fucking love. This band called Machine Gun Kelly, and not the not, the, not the, this was way before. Singer. That's why I tell them those guys need to shoot, sue that motherfucker because <laughs> they were this industrial band. Mm. Um, and uh, I get in the car at the end of the show. <clears throat> it's nighttime. I put my hand down. <clears throat> I'm like, oh. Rub my fucking hand. This motherfucker had left his uh, gel uh, speed stick deodorant in the back seat. I got it on my hand somewhere and wiped it in my eyes. Oh, dude. You want to talk about excruciating pain? Put fucking gel deodorant <laughs> in your fucking <laughs> eyes, dude. Wait, is that why your eye was right this morning? <laughs> no. this. I mean, I was 16 years old. Oh, I know. Right? <laughs> your eye today, dude. Oh, yeah. I was like, what the fuck? I told you. I, I was like, there's something in my eye, and I, I never got it out. It just kind of went away. But I had to go to the gas station and get some fucking eye drops, and I was like, Ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars for fucking Visine, and then it took me back. I was like, uh, anytime you, if if anybody there's a pothead mm. back in the day, and you would have to go buy Visine back in the day to cover it up, you knew it was like, okay, I'm gonna get this. I'm not gonna draw any attention to anybody because I don't want anybody to know you're paranoid anyway, right? Yeah. And I, it took me back. <clears throat> it wasn't ten dollars, yeah, back then, but. <clears throat> the one that the when I caught that drumstick, same thing. I I went and I grabbed it with a bunch of other hands, but like I jumped and grabbed it. Well, when I came back, I pulled it towards me and I went in the ground. And even the guy, the security guy, was like, "All right, buddy, calm down." And I was like, "You don't fucking know. You don't know. You shut the fuck you're up. Minimum wage to fucking, fucking push people around, you're asshole. Staff, shut the fuck up." <laughs> uh, I also got a at the salt air. I got a drumstick from his hand to my hand from S Sully. 
Sully. Sully. From Godsmack. Godsmack. I saw uh, a picture right, of him today. Right after the uh, Father Time? Uh, no, he still looks good. Yeah. He's very skinny. Mm. I think he's like vegan or whatever. He's very, very skinny, but he still looks really good. Yeah. Looks really good. Their drummer is actually the skinniest, one of the skinniest fucking people I've ever seen in my life. Really? Yeah. Godsmack's pretty good. That's kind of uh, left handed bass player. You know how they started? Mm. No idea. That band started as an Alice in Chains cover band. If you know Alice in Chains, like I know Alice in Chains, there's a song called Godsmack. Mm. That's what they named their band after, was an Alice in Chains song. No shit. So they were, yeah, they were an Alice in Chains cover band, and then they just kind of started writing their shit, and then they got big. <clears throat> Yo, any band out there that the fucking. The Marines take your song, and well, we're going to make this our fucking song. <laughs> yeah, you're already a fucking American legend, right? Remember that? <laughs> doom, 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 doom. I'll show doom, those guys doom, running what? out of the fucking... Yeah. Oh, fuck, come on. That'll make you want to join they the Marines right good. there. The ones that go, I'm not the one that's so mm. far away. You don't like it? It's okay. Come on, dude. You're high with that thing? <clears throat> it's fucking awesome. <laughs> and you're going back to it. <laughs> Teenager right there. The 90s and the early 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, it was good. Good trip. Um, and I got to see my friend <clears throat> who moved to St. Jeezy. Don't you hate when people say that? Yeah. They moved to St. George. He's all uh, with the whole family. He started. Uh, Stop by and said hi. Stop by and say hi. And I haven't seen him since. I haven't seen him. In th- I think he moved there three, four years ago. Yeah. And out of all of our group of friends, everybody has gone Nahadden. And this is how delay I am, dude. And I'm driving. And for some reason, I'm thinking when you go to Wendover, you go through St. George. Mm-mm. Wrong side, bud. Right? And so <clears throat> I'm driving. I'm minding my own business. And then I see St. George. 60 miles or whatever. And so I texted him. I said, are you working? And uh, and he goes, yeah, I'm, I'm, I just got out of the shower. And I'm like, dude, I'm go- I'm driving to Vegas. I'm like, I was thinking about stopping by. And he goes, fuck yeah, I do. I'll get some coffee ready. I'll get the, uh, I'll. Uh, what time did you leave the house? Around five in the morning. Good boy. Out of my way. Five in the morning. That's the way to do it. Got there with time. Yeah. Got there. We, we still, I mean, we, we got there. Pull our stuff uh, away, and then we uh, just walk around. We got some food. It's shit. amazing when you drive and you're all, oh, Vegas is not that far. Not that it's far. not that far. Huh? Not that far. Boring as fuck. Oh, yeah, it's boring, right? It's not that far. Yeah, it's not that far, though. And, uh, and so drove I st- by, my, um, by my heaven, old Sand Hollow. Sand Hollow, yeah. So then I stopped by uh, my friend's house, and it's one of my best friends, right? So I haven't seen him in so long. And I saw his wife, and his uh, his daughters you know they're all teenagers and they're hot and uh i'm just kidding that's a joke for him because that's how we joke around him and i but uh no but they they recognize that uh, the kids obviously haven't seen him they're like holy shit like angel see and then when he opened the door he was like i haven't told the wife you're coming and i was like oh this is awesome and then she came out and she saw me bawling she started crying she's like oh my god i can't believe you're here and i'm like I'm just driving to Vegas, stop by. And then on my way back, same thing. I stopped at his job just to just to tell him I love him, give him a hug and a kiss and uh, jerk him off. And then I stop at his house, see his wife, banged her a little bit. And, uh, is this the one you drank the breast milk from? That is the one, dude. See, that's what happens when you podcast. That is the one. That is the years, one. Right? We, brought, we brought it up to the conversation, too. I'm like, do you remember? And she's like, oh, yeah. Um. But no, she uh, she was just like so excited to see the kids were excited to see me. There was, uh, there was two out of three. The 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 third, the older one, <clears throat> the oldest one. She was she's I guess she lives here in Salt Lake. But the other two, they were like the, the youngest one. She's like, let's take him here, let's take him there. They told me about this place in Vegas. <clears throat> they said, how about this? We go, let's let's meet you guys over there, and then we'll go to lunch or dinner or whatever. And I was like, yeah, that sounds good. So they say, let's go to this place. They send me a pin drop. I go, okay. So they didn't make it. There was an accident southbound of uh, the gorge or whatever it's called. I just St. George or whatever. 
he said I read the gorge. I don't know what it is. That basically the highway going that way. And he goes, "Is this it's close? Like two fat- fatalities, and it's like this close? There's no way I can make it." I said, "Okay, I'll I'll figure out how to. I'll see you before I go back home." So then I was like, "Well, let's let's just go to that place." They said, "Mexican place." As far as I know, very authentic place. Okay. So like, okay. So then I get there, packed. Of course. <clears throat> I walked in. The music, the fucking mariachis, dude. The fucking food. Everything a line out the fucking door, and my naive self is like, "Well, there's only a couple of us, so we might be able to get a table." So then we asked him, "Hey, how about a table?" And she was like, "Oh, this is waiting for three hours." Oh, I was like, "Excuse, three hours? Nah, nah, we're good. Nah, this, this was lunchtime." Holy shit. Yeah, dude. It was right after the, the uh, Nike outlet that, that I went to. I came back and was like, let's go eat. So we went there and we're like. So you didn't eat there. Didn't eat there. Didn't eat there. <laughs> didn't eat there. I was taken to another taco place, famous taco place. And I was like. Tito's Tacos? I don't know what it's called. Uh. And then uh, <clears throat> I was taken there. It was like a total different Side of things, you know, it's like there was flies everywhere. Oh, of course, like, oh, of course. And then I <clears throat> take the food. I'm like, it's average. Yeah. yeah. And then I said, hey, tomorrow we're going to the buffet. <laughs> Big old line for the buffet. I'm like, nah. <laughs> nah. So you ate McDonald's down there. So I, didn't you? I ate pizza. <laughs> <laughs> New York pizza. Ready? New York pizza. No, oh, New York pizza. Inside of the thing. But, okay. but it was fun. <clears throat> but like seeing those guys is like, oh, holy shit! Like it's, the, the 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 waiting has been worth it. You know, yeah. it's so good. It's such a cool show. Good. I uh, we work with the guy who was uh, who was going down there too, mm-hmm. <clears throat> Latin fella, mm-hmm. and he made the comment to me. He's like, oh yeah. He's like, well. It's my wife's favorite band, so I yeah. kind of just got to go, right? Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's that kind of music. Yeah. <laughs> and I know. I've listened it's to it like, Oh, before. no. That's, what, that's, that's why Angel likes it. No, I I, uh, <clears throat> I got a hold of him there. I'm like, hey, you, uh, you're you at the concert? And he's like, I'm on my way. And I'm like, let's have a beer. And she, he's like, I'm with my kids. And I was like, oh, gross. I was like, oh, oh, kids? Oh, <laughs> oh what are those? It threw up in my mouth. <laughs> I'm like, disgusting. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, huh. but, but again, I was so shocked how dirty it is. Yeah. Yeah. I've noticed that the last few times I've been down there, but you're right as a kid. I mean, and I never even went there as a kid. I went there as a teenager with yeah. friends and I was like, <clears throat> this is the fuck. This is the place. And then as you get older, you're like, this place is fucking disgusting. <laughs> yeah. This place is built by hobos and yeah. fucking crackheads, right? Isn't that crazy how it is like, it, it attracts everybody from around the globe, and yet it's so It's like San Francisco, filthy. though, right? San Francisco is the fucking mecca for fucking hobos right now. And gays. Yeah. <clears throat> Which is fine. Yeah, so that one's okay. But the hobos. Are- the Yo, hobos. Speaking, of, speak, speaking of hobos. I Yo, was- do you see the fence? At Hobo Central, oh. you know when you come off of the freeway, <clears throat> you go over the the train tracks, mm-hmm. then you take a left, right, and they're all in that center area. Mm. They fenced the entire area off. You can't get in there now. Oh shit, dude! Yeah. I was I was coming, so I come, so I get off on Six South, yeah. drive to Fifth, and then come down to the light, right. As I was hitting that last light to go. Not, not the entrance of the freeway, but go right next to it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So there was two cop cars, a van, and a trailer. And they're they're getting rid of all these fucking tents. Oh, really? Yeah, dude. <clears throat> it was, I was kind of sad. You know? It's got to be rough. I mean, I rolled my window. It's, it's about tough. time, but it's still kind of <laughs> sad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> but... <clears throat> Dude, there there was like so there, there was people on this side. There was people on this side. They were grabbing their shit as fast as they can because they were they were like, "We're you gotta get the fuck out." Like, they move them all the time, man. Yeah, 
And then they, they just come back. But, I mean, let me ask you this. What's, what's the answer here? Mm, nobody knows the answer. It would be fixed. They've talked about, like, state-funded housing and everything, but all you're doing is just moving all that that's there into an area, and then you're just... I mean, there's a lot of mental health but like, that, that comes into... And, and there's some drugs. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. But there's a lot of mental health that, that doesn't get addressed. And yeah, you could shack them up. You could buy... You could build a fucking gigantic fucking apartment complex, right? One or two bedroom apartment and then, you know, and then take care of it that way, but you're not you're not solving the solution. You're just putting it behind a closed door. Cuz even if you even if you build another uh homeless shelter, they just I mean, it's going to get to a point that it's not going to be enough, right? <clears throat> It'll never be enough. Cuz these guys keep reproducing, right? <laughs> Just kidding. I would, yeah, it's a good question. Like, do they provide? Because I know you can get dental done, and yeah. you can get you know things like that through the homeless shelter and through the state funding and things like that. But like, do they give you like birth control? Yeah, the condoms. They provide that kind of stuff because you know sleeping in the streets. I mean, you get one of those. You get one of them fucking alley cats come your way. You're gonna shake that shit, right? Come on, let's be real. Because I drove by a couple of times, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, right. But if I live there, I'm probably like, oh yeah, mama. I mean, you ain't eating that out. Oh, we ain't going yeah. to the buffet, baby. Oh, you ain't eating ass. We ain't sure. three hours we ain't for the. Oh, we ain't eating ass, right? But, but you eat ass, you get ass full out of there, oh. dude. <laughs> That's where COVID started. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there's, I mean, it's been said that like areas of uh, like LA and places like that, like those motherfuckers had the bubonic plague. Yeah. Like, there's no, we, a couple of assholes on a podcast aren't going to say, well, what's the solution? I don't fucking know. Yeah. I would think that we'll just build a badass. Apartment complex, put them all in there, right? And then just make sure they don't do drugs in there. Well, you you can't stop that. Yeah, it's like the uh, the homeless shelter. Like you're you're not allowed to do that kind of stuff in there. So there's not very many of them that go in there. Like yeah, it does, <clears> doesn't <throat> it have like a like a curfew kind of thing. Absolutely, like you have to be there at Absolutely. a certain time. Yeah, and it's it's like any of the um, like fucking natural disaster movies you see. It's like a fucking gymnasium and it's all cots and shit. Right? It's a sad deal, right? But uh, I feel I I feel bad for him when I see him coming in and just kicking him out of their area, and yeah. to have to know that like, where's my meal gonna come from tomorrow, right? And tomorrow are we gonna get kicked out of here? And we have to find somewhere else to tent up, right? Yeah. And now winter's coming. It'd be a rough life, dude. A rough life, and you can say, well, they put themselves there, but. I don't necessarily think that's the case for everybody because, again, we talk about mental health. Like, that's what this country has, is a fucking mental health problem. And it didn't get any better during the pandemic. It got worse, yeah. way fucking worse. You lock everybody in. You have to see your kids every fucking day. And you can't get of course, you're going to go crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. Remember how they used to, they used to live in the... In that Pioneer Park. Yeah. And all of a sudden. They <clears throat> yeah, and they they clean that shit up, right? Clean that shit up quick. Yeah, I know we make fun of him, but he's pretty shitty. <laughs> he's pretty shitty, right? He's pretty shitty, and I feel bad. I feel bad. Do uh, you ever give him money? We've talked about this. Do? <clears throat> uh, yeah. I just... Here's my thing, though. Who carries cash? That's nowadays? what I say. Nobody ever has cash. Yeah. Nobody carries cash. So you go like, I want to help you, dude, but... Oh, yo, I got the slider on my phone. And he says, what did you say, sir? I can't hear you because you only got this much window open. I was like, <laughs> I can't help you, dude. He's like, what did you say, sir? <laughs> <laughs> dude, again, we, we <laughs> I'm walking to one of these bridges that takes you across the road in, in Vegas. And one of these bridges that connects two hotels, right? Oh. 
And in that bridge, now there's like hip hop dancers. There's like uh, cabaret girls that are wanting to take pictures with you. Characters. Uh, there's a guy just rapping, and and as I'm walking by, there's 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 two kids, <clears throat> tiny kids, like uh, like your oldest age, and they're sitting there. It was it was probably like a brother and a sister, and all they're doing is singing. But they have like this uh, Middle Eastern clothing. I was like, okay, but they're singing. First of all, they were awful. <laughs> I'm sorry, they were awful. I gave him money, relax. But um, two kids, they were singing. Hit me, baby. No, they were singing uh, Christmas carols. Oh. I was like, what the fuck? Jingle bell, jingle bell. Yeah, but it was like, but it was like, jingle bell, jingle bell. Like, no, I'm like, dude. Mm. Get some singing lessons before you do this, huh? This is Vegas. A lot of competition, son. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you got to step your game <laughs> up. Fuck up your shit. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, there's the painted characters out there, right? Yeah. There was this uh, uh, this big old billboard in our, our hotel that uh, they uh, thunder down under guys. Oh, yeah. Right there, right? And you see the billboard, and, and, and I mean, I was getting moist. Oh, yeah, I bet. But then there's a couple guys that are there on the front lobby for you to take pictures with them. And you're like, but you, you're just buff. You're ugly as fuck, dude. Oh, and he's like, take their shirt off. They're like, yeah, you want some pictures? <laughs> they're walking around. Go, hey, ladies, we just take some pictures. And they're like bouncing their titties and shit. And I go. <laughs> Yo, I can wow. do that with my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, that's fucking. And, but then you look at the poster. You look at them. You're like. You guys are not even a part of it. Oh, man. <laughs> so what hey, are the fake advertisements? They still got the fucking the cards. That... Yeah. yeah. Those yeah. guys were all there? Mm-hmm. They were there. That brings me home. That brings me Vegas when I hear that. And they give you the fucking flyer. Yeah. Yeah, they still have those. Again, <sighs> how many people have touched that? That's why I don't grab them. Look them to your kids. Yeah, dude. When yeah. I... I and then you look back, they're everywhere, all over the ground. Everybody's all. <laughs> Not your boy, the first time. I thought it in your pocket, huh? Those Babel's cards? Yeah, the Babel cards. Don't fucking touch them. That's in your pocket. I was going for that. Hey, you got the. <laughs> <laughs> He's on parked cars, motherfucker. What are you doing? <laughs> I was getting to there. This is your well, man. Hey, my man, you got cards? You got cards? He's just like, Ever been to a Vegas strip joint? No. Oh, they different down there. Yeah. Oh, they different down there. I've been to Cheetahs. Fart in your face and everything. Huh? Yeah, Cheetahs is. Uh, I don't know that's if the, I, like the legendary one. I don't know if I'm psychologically ready for that shit because I've been so <laughs> like boxed in into what we got here. Really? No, that no that I no that I wouldn't go. I'm just saying, like I I was just like. It'll be like, oh, what are we going to find? What are we going to find? See what I'm saying? Mm. You been to that one? Yeah, I've been to Cheetahs. And? You got to think about it. I've been to American Bush when they didn't, you didn't serve beer so they could get completely fucking naked. A hundred percent. No yeah. pasties, no nothing. They just well, didn't serve beer. That's how this other one is. That was here in Utah at 18. So it was like not a culture shock when I was like, oh, I'm used to this. Yeah, but they're not lap dancing though. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. They are? Yeah. Here? Yes. Well, they, back in the day. I don't oh, think yeah. they don't do that anymore. <clears throat> That's what we're I We're mean. talking back in the 90s. Yeah. Back when I was roaming the streets, fucking rugged and ruthless. Back when you were a hobo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I was never a hobo. <clears throat> but. So what about cheaters? Cheaters? Cheetahs. Cheetahs. Yeah, it was, it was full on. Absolutely. Mucho bueno. Oh, right? Yeah. Um, we ran into Frank Mir. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dean Lister and uh, Roy Nelson because they were bouncers there. Oh, damn. Yeah. This is back when we went to Pride. Mm hmm. 2000. Pride Parade. Four. <clears throat> God damn, 20 years ago. Fuck, man. Jesus. Um, Pride never dies. Just you, remember that. Did you go broke in there or what? 
Mm-mm. I didn't have any responsibilities other than like fucking $300 in fucking rent. My car was paid for. <clears throat> I saved up for that trip. I had thousands of dollars. Nice. And this was back during the heyday of like Paris Hilton. Mm-hmm. We went to a club, saw Paris up in the fucking balcony dancing, and I was like, Is she hot? I, I can't read that. No? Life, life changing. Oh, she's hot? She's that hot. <clears throat> she had an aura about her. And obviously she was <laughs> she was up there, and the lights were on her, and she was dancing and everything. But I was like, well, that's it. That's like, that's the 10. It's the American dream, huh? That right there. Uh, not only she, she fucking filthy rich because oh, yeah. of her parents, mm-hmm. right? It's the Hiltons. I, I always thought her sister was hotter. Nikki? No. Nikki Hill? No. Why? Why? Do, I'll give you one choice. Why do you think is the only thing that disgusts me about Paris Hilton? Think about one choice and one choice only. Just the one thing she the does? One th- no, the one thing that she has. Oh, of her body? That I can't stand. <clears throat> Come on. It's there. Uh, not much of an ass on her. No. Oh, those loppers, huh? <laughs> she has... Disgusting. Feet. Well, I don't look at feet, so it didn't matter. No, she had true. my father's feet, and I couldn't <laughs> give a fuck less. Right? Wasn't looking at that, bud. That wasn't. I, I didn't look. Like I'm that. sorry, I did, <laughs> and it changed my life forever. Also, <laughs> that must have fucked you up in Vegas, looking for those <laughs> cards. Because all you did were you looking for people's feet. That's that's where this all started, right? <laughs> really? That's what I feel. Yeah, I did. I've never. I mean. Pretty fucking bad. Well, she's tall. She's pretty tall. Tall drink of water. She's probably got them, them hoofs. No, I wouldn't say hooves. They're more like we, uh, we looked them up one time. What was it? The fucking, <laughs> what? We looked them up so, one time. I, I don't know if it was Brian. Or it was Jack. It was feet of of a like a vampire movie or something. Oh yeah, they got that fucking the Lost Boys. Remember they're hanging on the fucking <laughs> their claws are wrapped around the fucking. <laughs> but no, you know what? She, I would assume that she's because I mean, I've never looked. But I would assume we all, <laughs> me, me is a of a guy that grew up fucking out in the of the sticks of fucking Utah, right? Yeah. The whitest place in the world. All of the tall kids on the basketball team had feet like that. Those long yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, white yeah. feet, right? Slender, long white feet. That's the only thing because I do think she's cute. Do you ever watch her porn? I'm I'm full of stupid questions today. Uh. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> you a <were> preschool. <laughs> I apologize. I did. It was good. <clears throat> yeah, I've been to Vegas and we stopped by. Let's go to Vegas because I always stop by because there's a a legendary fight store down there. We can buy all sorts of memorabilia shirts and all kinds of stuff. Uh, the problem is, last time I went, I was excited to go. I went there. Oh, you've all gone WWE, WWF, uh, or whatever. Those it's turned to fucking wrestlers. <laughs> they took over it. I, and there was a small section for fucking MMA shit. I was like, motherfucker. Those guys ruined yeah, everything. Yeah, like La- Las Vegas uh, Fight Store. Let's go to Vegas. And do what? I don't know. They have to have a reason to go there. You don't just go to Vegas, just go to Vegas. You have to, have to have a reason to go there. Go to the Vegas, go see the fights. Then I'm sold. Well, you barely saw him here. You're not gonna go to Vegas to see him there. Yeah, but now that I've now that I've let's go watch the Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. <clears throat> oh, I want to go to Arizona. Well, What's don't the they play the Raiders? Them? Not this season, I don't think. No, they played them last year. They go go to Arizona. In fact. Old fucking Quinster was talking about this. Going, there, going to fucking uh, Arizona and going watching the Cardinals play the fucking the Niners. Isn't but it? I've been there. I slept across the street from the fucking the arena. Not that cool down there. Uh, in uh, Arizona? Yeah, Phoenix. Phoenix, Glendale area. Yeah. But I could live there. See, I went to... I could see, live there. I, I went to Glendale to see Mana. Did you? Glendale, Reno... Las Vegas, like you've been to shit. Reno when you thought Wendover was that way. Yeah. You pass. No, Wendover Reno's past. That's right, because it's just before California. That's right. Yeah. 
But see, but that, but so is Wes? Mm, no, it's uh, yeah, it's West. That's yeah, West. See, that's what I'm saying. That's where I get all confused yeah, because you it's go Nevada. Wendover to you go Wendover to Elko to Reno to California. That's what I'm saying. But yeah. but I'm thinking. Well, you can take the long route to Vegas. You can get there that way. <laughs> It'd take you forever, but I'm you just, can get there I'm that way. I'm just saying because I I know that I, I know that Vegas is south, but then f- for some reason I was like, oh, but isn't San George like west? And now you're saying Reno's west, but Las Vegas is Nevada, and Reno is Nevada. Yeah, because you got to go through Wendover to get to fucking uh, Reno, biggest little city in America. I do when I so when I went somewhere. So it was Glendale. I was well, my hometown, Glendale, Vegas, Reno, and that's it. <clears throat> and then I wanted to buy a shirt or something, but I just don't think I'm into buying tour Band shirts. Tour anymore. shirts anymore. No, I wouldn't do it. Right? <clears throat> I wouldn't do it. I would maybe buy a shirt that was cool but didn't have tour dates on it. Yeah, yeah, like a logo or something. We work with a guy. He's in the upstairs area, mm-hmm. and he's like a huge metalhead, mm-hmm. and he goes to all of the shows, and he gets, that's his thing, he goes to all the metal shows, and he gets band shirts, and he wears them to work. Oh, really? Have you never <laughs> seen that guy? Uh-uh. Yeah. And he's like, every once in a while, I'll talk to him, I'm like, did you go see Pantera? He's like, of course I saw Pantera. He oh, wait. The, he had the tour shirt on. Huge guy. Big old tall fucking guy. Mm. <clears throat> Not the guy I was but Yeah, um... That went out in the teenage years. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't I th- buy it. I mean, when I bought shops, I was like, oh, this is a tour shirt. I was like, oh. I'll never wear this. <laughs> I mean, I wear it all the time, but I go work out with it because it's long. I got this thing where, like, I sit there to work out and I make to sure. hide your boner. I make sure my, no, but I make sure my belly doesn't show. So I'm yeah. like pushing it down. Yeah. I'm like, doing this. Because, <laughs> like, how many times you've seen that? Oh, yeah. Somebody's lifting. You're, you like, you're like, oh, damn. Dude, I can see You why really want to spend your time doing arms? Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I like a longer shirt. Not yeah. too long, but I like yeah, one yeah. just for that reason. You're right. Yeah. You might, do you like my Target shirt, you said? Target. Tar- Target. Oh, Target. Sorry. Target shirt. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I would roll the cuffs up. I would not button it up all the way. You to know the why top. I'm doing this? Because this is one of this is one of the shirts that the neck sticks out so much that when you open it, it like it, I mean, I, when I look down, my beard is like, so it gets it all fucked up. That's why I did it. I'm not a fan of it. And one. then you have the buttons on it too. On the, on the. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, but this that is shit out. That also, hairy chest roll. When I put it, on, hey I bro, so hey bro, so come here. Oh, I wax Do my. You want some I, gold? Wax, I wax my back. Oh yeah. To enjoy the pool. No pool. Well, he went to Excalibur, my father. There's a pool. It's a huge pool. Did he get I in the pool? I looked up, and then I went to my buddy's house, and he built the pool in his house. And he was like, "Dude, you want to jump in? Like I got. I'm like, no, I got. Like I brought uh, trunks." And he's like, yeah, dude, whenever. And I was like, when we come back. And then I came back just to say goodbye. (laughs) Wax my back for nothing. Nothing, huh? And then I was also thinking, should I go, do I go butthole or don't go butthole? Go (laughs) butthole. Why? Do I get to show you? Well, I've asked you that. I'm like, so when you manscape down there, do you go around the corner? Yeah, but it's, I mean, there's not. It's not hair. It's just a. It's not like waxing. Like I don't right, need waxing. I'm just saying. But if you're gonna shave but it like down my there, why wouldn't you take cheeks, care dude? of it too? They need help. You have hairy butt cheeks. Yeah, of course, mm. dude. Of course. I don't know about this. That's why I'm. I don't I know do, about I, this. You know what? As much of a uh, dirtbag everybody <laughs> thinks I, am, I don't. I don't need. I don't like to see myself naked. Really? Yeah. Especially like it, it, let's just say I just got the like I just. Busted a big old load, and I go, oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, hold on, but and then, and then I just walked away, hey, and then I just walked time? away, pretending I'm Christian, Christian Gray, Christian or whatever, Bell? Christian Gray. And, oh, and, yeah, and, yeah. and dude, people will see me. It's like, well, that's disgusting. Don't stay in bed. I'll fucking leave. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm glad like, the lights are out. I, I feel like. I, <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna bust it now. They're like, I'm the one putting my nightgown on. <laughs> you get done. She grabs her phone. Yo. 
I just instantly, I just, uh, and then I just grabbed the, <laughs> grabbed the yeah. coat, put it all the way to my face. <laughs> 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 it's almost as grating as taking a shit, right? <laughs> You're so vulnerable at that dude, point. How, how about I had take two shits this morning? Jesus huh? Christ, dude. This fucking By the way, let's just let's just put this out there. If anybody's like, well, this is a lackluster podcast, <laughs> if I've ever heard one, it's been a rough fucking day. Yeah, if someone deserves a beer today, <laughs> it's this gentleman right here. It's this gentleman right here. <clears throat> so today, sorry, I today, apologize. Today he was and, telling me I kind of. I, I sat at home and I thought I'm gonna call him and tell him I just don't have it in me today. <laughs> I was so and I told close. You. I had my phone in my hand and I know you did. I had the phone in my hand. And I was just like, I just, don't, I just don't see it. Yeah. There's just no way. I was like, fuck it. Maybe I can go down and have a laugh. Like I told you, crank the music up on yeah. the drive. Have a fucking have a nice drive there. Have a giggle here. Maybe that'll turn me around. It, 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 it is. You got Jumanji out there. Yeah. yeah. So, apologize. But oh, you're good. Uh, yeah. After I mean, today was so rough for Mr. Simmons. I was. How rough was it? Uh, how, yeah, this is how rough it was. <laughs> I got to him and I'm like, Hey, do you want me to? Uh, you want me to take another podcast this weekend? <laughs> <clears throat> you just take the day off. <laughs> there was a bad day today. And I don't usually say the things I say today. And I regret when I say those things. But there's times where I have to just be like, mm. Yeah. Mm. And I sit back and I really reevaluate everything that I have. And I go, ah, maybe things aren't that bad. And, and maybe there's times where I have to just... Oh, I don't want to get into it. Yeah. I don't want to get into it. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway. Should we get out of here? Yeah, I think we're off. Are we? Wrapped up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, whatever, dude. <laughs> it's it's Severo on Instagram, Angel Severo on Facebook. <clears throat> you know how to spell my last name. If not, listen to the last, the previous 50 episodes. And I'm here. And he's there. I'm here. Uh, until next time, take care of yourselves out there. It's hot in here, dude. It is hot. It's fucking it's hot. Loud. Yeah, Julio. Who's Hootie is that, dude? Well, shout Until out to next the number time. one chief. <laughs> Until next time, take care of yourselves out there. We will see you on the other side of the beehive. Peace.